All right, yo, what's up? We're gonna do something a little different here. We're gonna create and break down one of these ads, which is I don't think my face is showing, so we're gonna we're just gonna minimize that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stretch it out. All right. So this one is you know one of the famous ads in the Rolls Royce ads. B the Rolls Royce ad by David Ogilvy. I, I don't even know how to say that name. But basically, this is like one of the ads that helped drove so many sales back in the, I don't even know, the 1960s, 1950s, just a, just a long time ago. All right. So let me just unpack just by the layout. So just by the layout, they just start with an image on top of here with, you know, a headline underneath it and just straight up bullet points like their bullet points are like in numbers but this is just basically you know picture headline sub headline bullet points and that's that's all there is to that so let's break it down so with the picture you know they chose a picture that's something that represents like you know what would it feel like if you got it you know like the envy from your friends you know how it feel just cruising down the street in this nice like serious car like I'm assuming it would be similar to like you know like a BMW you know something that's like luxurious but it's you know somewhat affordable and that and one of the ways that I like the layout is because you know on the very top you know the way we view our stuff is like we see a picture first and then we see a text so even if your text is you know up above here we're gonna look at the picture and then the text. So just by having it from picture to text, it creates a very seamless, you know, experience as you're just going down the ad, all right? And there's like a little, you know, caption here. Usually you see the caption, but because the headline is just so big, you know, they, they'll, and this is just so tiny, they're, they're gonna, you know, sk skip it for a bit, but you know, at least, you know, <laughs> at least, you know, you have the price and it's just a little bit about the Rolls Royce, but. Usually you read the caption because it's literally underneath the picture, but yeah. All right, let's break, let's break down this, uh, this, this famous line. At 60 miles an hour, the loudest noise in this new Rolls Royce comes from the electric clock. So you could tell like the whole angle of this ad is how quiet this car is, no matter how fast you go. And the way they paint that picture is that they use something like an electric clock, you know, like a, a clock is like very, you know, very quiet. And usually cars back then in this era, you know, they were, they were loud, they were, you know, powerful, but they were, you know, it, it wasn't, it wasn't a quiet experience that, you know, we usually get in our modern days. And just by like painting, you know, you, you notice how they put like 60 miles, not like we drove our car fast because they want to show like, how specific you can get like even if you're driving 60 miles or below it's gonna be pretty pretty quiet all right and then this next line you know what makes it the best car there's no magic about it because we pay attention to detail but this is just like emphasizing this headline where we pay so much attention you know to the clock to the whole car that it's just quiet all right it's just basically you know, it's just, you know, like boosting this egos of this uh, Rolls Royce engineer, you know, it's just make him, make him feel good. But, but the purpose is to like re-emphasize this. All right, let's go to the first bullet point here. Let me, uh, let me zoom in so that you can actually, you know, <laughs> you can actually read it. So let me see. Is that zoom in on the reports, the technical editor. So they start out with some sort of social proof, some sort of social authority. All right. You know, they go from. The exact same headline, you know, that, that's getting read and they're quoting where it's from. And I'm assuming that the motor was, you know, a prominent magazine for cars. Otherwise, I wouldn't know why that's there. But I'm pretty sure it's some sort of like social proof to like boost this, you know. Wow, this is this is amazing, you know, from this well-known magazine slash a company slash person slash, you know, you know, it could even be like a like a, a freaking motor talking. And, and they said this quote, you know, like just like a cartoon. All right. Second bullet point is, let me see, run for seven hours each car. So basically it's just emphasizing, you know, how safe it is. Just like, yeah, we, we've tested this, you know, we, it's, 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 it's a solid ride, you know. Owner driven car, you know, put the power in you. Not in the company, all right. People, people resonated as well. Whoa, I get, I get some power 
in my own car, I feel powerful, I feel like in control. You know, that that's gonna that's gonna light my buttons, you know. Someone told me I got I got some owner driven control for a <laughs> for a car. <laughs> okay, this car has power steering, power brakes, automatic okay, some it is very easy to drive and depart. No. You see how like right here, I really like this. So they're just emphasizing the pain points. Like so like, okay. So what, what if I get this car? Is it is it gonna be easy to drive? Is it easy to park? Is it complicated? And just notice the way they phrase it. It's like it's like what like a, a five year old would say. It's like it is very easy to drive and to park. No chauffeur required. Okay, maybe maybe the, the, the five year old won't know like what a, a chauffeur is, but you know, you see how it's like very simple, but it speaks directly to the pain point. So that's 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 a solid line. I actually I actually really like that line, even though it's just so that's so basic. Okay, let's go. Let's let's, let's keep going, guys. All right. We just got to spend a week, you know, being fine-tuned, subject to 98 separate ordeals. Not 99, not 97, a 98. And we even use a stethoscope, ooh, to listen for axle whine. You know, I don't even know what axle whine is, but you know, if, if you're if you're using a you know a stethoscope to play doctor with the Rolls Royce, you know, you know, you know, this is like very serious stuff. Because, you know, the reference is like, you know, it's so quiet that, you know, we're, we're test tuning. But, you know, if you're playing doctor with a Rolls Royce, you know, I give, I give this some credibility. All right. All right. Bullet six guaranteed for three years. All right. And there's that. There's that, that like guarantee. Coast of Crows. And, you know, you could get service. Rolls Royce rate has never changed except that when. Okay. 1933 then put a little history put a little like we're just not brand new we're, we're actually established this thing has been going it's it's alive you know it's, it's not just like you know crap we just made like two months ago it's 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 actually established over many years and it's still working and we're still successful and basically putting like about us and like why you know we're, we're established Coach work is given. Okay, okay, it's, it's nicely painted. I'm I'm assuming cars back then they weren't just like, I'm guessing the paint was like a little you know, little like uh, it was a little sketch you know. I'm thinking like, <laughs> well I don't really know the cars back then, but you know I'm, I'm like like I'm thinking of like a Walmart paint. You know? like you, like you get some paint from Walmart, you know, you paint it over and you put some shine over it. Maybe it wasn't like that, but you can see that they put a lot of quality, you know, five coats of primer. It's very, if you notice throughout this whole description, it's just a very, how do I put it? It's like, you can, you can see the image in your mind. And that's why this is just so powerful because you can specifically see like, okay, five primers. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's not just like, you know, working the engine, but like, if you're like a car enthusiast, like this is like, very specific, very nitty gritty details. All right, let's keep going. Moving a switch, you can adjust the shock absorbers. All right, I'm guessing the the roads weren't as as, as paved and is pretty bumpy. Picnic table, huh? <laughs> that's a uh, that's that's interesting. People must have liked picnic tables for them to actually uh, put this here. With a uh, okay, I can. I, co coffee makes a lot more sense. You know, you can get such optional. You know, coffee and dictating a bed hot or a f telephone like th this. I can see, but like a, a picnic tape. Like you, you know what? No, I, you know, I'm I'm down for a picnic. And this, you know, just give me give me a Rolls Royce, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ride that Rolls Royce down to a park to get a nice picnic with you know some espresso coffee making machine. A picnic table. That's a. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels really random to me. Okay. Well, you know, people. <laughs> people must have loved their picnic tables back then. All right, let's keep going. Number bullet twelve. There are three separate systems: power brakes, two hydraulic ones, damage one will not affect others. A very safe car. A very lively car. It cruises serenely at eighty-five. Top speed is. 100 miles so the reason why they put this is they want to be like okay this car is quiet but that doesn't mean that it's not powerful you know we we can go up to 100 miles per hour you can cruise you know steadily you know just like 
put the windows down at 85 you know everything will be all smooth but we're our car isn't just you know quiet it's also powerful and that's the point of this bullet right here right here you know they yeah oh yeah all right the bentley is made by rolls royce and people feel that you can buy bentley Okay, so this is more like an objection. So they're they're putting bullet, 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 bullet. You know, great, we're great, 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 great. Here's an objection. Here's here's the biggest objection they have. Like because you know, just because they're identical. What if I want my own car? And they they address that right here. They're like, if if you don't want to drive a Rolls Royce, you know, you could drive a Bentley and be be different. You know, you don't have to be like everyone else. And then the call to action, which is, uh, you know, here's the price. If you want, you know, rewarding experience, you know, ooh, you know, it sounds like a hotel right now. Rewarding, that's a vivid uh, vocabulary. Okay, right, telephone. Yeah, so call to action here. So the base, the basic structure is something that you can use for your sales letter. You know, it's it's a, it's actually pretty hard to just pull a picture up. Because what they did was they felt that half the image was worth its worth. So they, they thought it was worth more worth it to have a picture than to have this much text. So it this exact copy you can you can um you can do like a headline image or video, but just having a straight image that's that's kind of hard. It, it's something you could do and test for your sales page, but it's something that's uh. I put it more like a medium to advanced because you have to test, like you have to find the right picture and that can take a lot of time. But what you can use is the basic framework, which every sales page uses. You know, you have some headline, you have a sub headline, you have, you know, some social proof and just straight bullets. Like they, they didn't, they didn't really put any uh, text or story. It was just straight bullet points with, you know, pictures of the product. And you know, call to action, price. So the basic structure is picture, headline, subheadline, bullet points, call to action. And that's something that you 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 have to use in your sales letter if you wanted to convert well. You know, hope you found something useful in this video. And um, you know, if you like this, you know, I, I can just start you know cranking out more break uh, breakdowns on these ads. So yeah, peace out.